New Year resolutions aren't just for adults. Setting intentions and sticking to them can teach young people valuable lessons. And as 2023 closes in, it's the perfect time to talk to children about goal setting. Parenting expert Di Wilcox is here to guide us through it. Good to have you with us, Di. At what age can children get involved in making New Year resolutions? So children can start making New Year's resolutions from the age of seven. And, and parents can really help their children by asking them some really simple questions. So things like, what goals do you want to set for the new year? Why did you pick that goal? What can you do to reach this goal? And how will you know that you've reached your goal? Kids love to have something to work towards. What are some realistic goal settings? So some examples of goals young children may set include things like walking the dog 20 minutes each day, uh, keeping their room tidy, reading one chapter of a book each night, or maybe even saving $10 a week towards a new bike. So something that they can relate to that's easy rather than a big wild dream. Absolutely. And you can see that uh, some of those that I, examples I use are things that parents would really like them to do as well. Exactly. What are the benefits then of setting goals? I mean, obviously you are achieving something that parents want them to do too. Well, goal setting helps children to take responsibility for their own behaviours and learning. And it encourages them to work towards what they want to get out of life. And it helps them to understand things don't always get given to you or happen the way you want them to. Can you explain a little bit more for us uh, something that's more specific within their reach? So when you're trying to guide your children towards goals, there's something called SMART goals. So this is an acronym that stands for goals that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant. So when we talk about relevant, it's something they really want to achieve and time targeted. So you want your children to dream big, but you need them to understand that in order to reach those big goals, there are lots of little goals they have to reach first. How do you teach them to follow through, Di, or do we need to nag? Nagging is something we've all done as parents, but I'm here to tell you that it may work in the short term, but it's not going to work in the long term. It actually doesn't change behaviours, but it can damage the communication and relationship between parent and child. So try not to nag. You said that we can start setting goals from as young as seven. Is it a different format uh, when you're dealing with little kids than it would be if you're dealing with teenagers? Oh, absolutely. You, when it comes to those goals being realistic, you've got to make sure they're age appropriate. Um, and you also need to know where your children's passions are. You don't want your child to um, be living your goals or your dreams. Remember that they're their own person. So allow them to, to do what's right for them. And before you leave us, Di, how far does bribery go in achieving those goals? <laughs> Look, it's always lovely to have a reward at the end of achieving something. So it's actually okay when they're setting those goals to actually discuss with them what the reward may be at the end of it. So it's talk to your child and it, got, it doesn't mean it has to be something expensive or fancy. It may be special time with you. And it's about setting goals together. Di Wilcox, May 2023 start with a bang for you. Thank you so much.